Hello, my name is Tim Goosewell, and I'm going to take you through one of my favorite photographs from the Civil War. The image is entitled, Confederate Dead Along Hagerstown Pike, Battle of Antietam, and it was taken by Alexander Gardner on September 19, 1862, although it was printed at a later date. The image is from the Civil War, as I said earlier, and is part of a larger group of photographs that became the first images to publicly show dead soldiers and horses on the battlefields. The Civil War broke out in 1861 over several issues, including but not limited to slavery, states' rights, and territorialism. The southern states, or Confederate states, planned to secede from the Union, or northern states, over some of those issues, mainly slavery. On September 17, 1862, the Battle of Antietam took place. The battle remains the single deadliest day of fighting in any American military affair. After four years of fighting, the South eventually surrendered and the war ended. There were at least 1,030,000 casualties due to the war. This war accounted for more deaths than all other U.S. wars combined. Alexander Gardner was a Scottish-born pho photographer who immigrated to the United States. He lived in Washington near the time the war was beginning to break out, and that put him in a unique position. He was interested in the photography of Matthew Brady and sought him out after becoming proficient in portrait ph photography. Brady had the idea of, to photograph the Civil War, and Gardner entered, ended up working under General George B. McClellan. He took 70 pictures at the Battle of Antietam, which he is most widely recognized for. This image in particular is striking in that it shows the mass, ca mass casualties that took place on the day. Passersby noted that after the battle had ended, the bodies had to be piled up in the ditches to clear the various paths and roads. <clears throat> Gardner employed the use of space by his positioning amongst the bodies as well as the fence line. The bodies get smaller as they recede toward the horizon, pushing the sense of perspective and deep space even further. There are a variety of lines used that the viewer's eyes follow in both the fence and the road. There is also an interesting textural play between the ground and the sky. The ground is mostly organic, rough texture, while the sky <clears throat> and some of the human forms are much smoother. Matthew Brady set up an exhibition in New York City entitled The Dead of Antietam after returning from the battlefields. Alexander Gardner and James Gibson displayed 95 photographs of the war. This exhibition marked the first time the general public was able to see the true atrocities of war, including showing dead soldiers and animals on battlefields. The public was both fascinated and disturbed. Prior to this exhibition, images, which were usually paintings, of wars had to be created from sketches and, of course, from memory, and were often completed at a much later date due to the process of actually making them. Alexander Gardner's image, Confederate Dead Along Hangerstown Pike, Battle of Antietam, is one of several images that first exposed the public to the horrors of war. It is one of the most iconic photographs from the Civil War for several reasons, including the significance of the Battle of Antietam in the war, the exhibition entitled The Dead of Antietam, and the formal elements that work together to create a beautiful composition amongst an otherwise horrific scene.